I'm up in the field, checking on grass. Dogs are chasing a fox, or the scent of a fox. And this character jumped up on my shoulder, as per usual. Isn't that right? It's gone all cold again, and we had really unpleasant sleety rain earlier. Luckily, I just finished doing stuff outside and got inside just in time as the heavens opened with sleety, traditional sleety April weather. Um, but still, April showers bring May flowers. I sure as heck hope there's plenty of May flowers this year. We've had enough rain for it anyway. <laughs> on my shoulder again. <laughs> he just loves sitting on my shoulder. <laughs> this is exactly what you like to see in a good mother. Her body between the north wind and the sleeping lambs. 
We're having bitter winds and sleety showers and huge gusts that a tree of ours has went down across the road. Huge tree went across the road. Luckily nobody was hurt. Thank goodness nobody was hurt for coming along at the time. The sun might be shining, but we've had incredibly strong winds. This horse chestnut tree was that high, filling in that space there, and is now on the ground right there. It fell out across the road and the uh, county council or someone, maybe with a tractor or something, brought it over and put, chucked it over the fence. So that is one massive tree. Luckily, it didn't break the electric line. I think it just bounced over the electric line but it's massive. So sad seeing these trees die. You can see it was not well and I missed it on my rounds. You just don't know. See, they look pretty healthy, those chestnut trees. This one looks really healthy. It's got its beautiful candelabras out. You can see horse chestnut candelabra. So beautiful. But that tree has made a mess. Poor tree. But luckily they've threw all the branches over the fence. The uh, county council or whoever it was. And they're, uh, everything's chucked over the wall. And luckily, nobody was hurt when that tree came down. So sad to watch these great giants fall and die. Huge, but you can see it was well rotten. That was well rotten. That was truly dead. So lucky, so lucky, nobody was underneath it. All the chainsaw dust from uh, where the tree was down on the other side. I was away, so I wasn't even here when this occurred. But a huge amount of chainsaw dust in the road. So they chopped it up and chucked it over the, over the uh, wall. Huge. I'm going to have to get it so that we can put the fence up because at the moment the sheep could climb over this wall and straight onto the road. So I'm going to have to get this cleared up. This is a tree plantation that I planted a few years ago. A lot of stuff here, stuff is homegrown. There's um, oak trees and spindle and rowan and gilder rose and cherries and oaks. Anyway, the really exciting news, oh, hello, you. The really exciting news is the cuckoo flower. Look at that. All those pink flowers is something I'm encouraging because they are, appropriately, I have an orange cat. They are the food and what the orange-tipped butterfly likes to lay its eggs on and its caterpillars like to eat. So, and uh, I planted some here, transplanted some here uh, a few years ago, and there's more and more and more of it growing. Hey, guys, come here. Come on. Java. They're in that field. I don't want them in that field. Too close to the road without me. Anyway, that is the cuckoo flower, also known as lady smock. So it's fantastic to see that my plantation of a few plants has uh, spread. Look at that. Fantastic. 